Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, this should resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, it could be flipped. It could be your situation versus them. It just depends, okay? Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. And with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into your reading, but really quick. Um, we're going to go over the overall moon message in, uh, when it comes to love, the current situation, how do you feel about the situation, your hopes and your fears romantically. So with that being said, Libra, let me see if I can move that up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. All right, Libra, what's the overall message for love? Okay. Uh, work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. So it's interesting. A lot of um, signs are getting the new moon cards. So maybe there's definitely some type of change that's coming. Who the hell knows? Maybe you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. What is the current situation at hand for Libra? Okay. King of Pentacles. Ew. Obviously some type of solid offer coming from a Capricorn, um, Taurus or Virgo. How does Libra feel about this? How does Libra feel about this? Oh, Libra. You guys have the Four of Cups with the Page of Swords, possibly dealing with a Cancer, a Gemini, um, Virgo, or I'm sorry, a Gemini, Libra, or um, Aquarius. What are uh, Libra's hopes and fears? Okay, you guys have the Nine of Cups. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Pisces. Let's see if I can get this organized here. I feel like this is hella off, but oh well. YOLO. I feel like you guys are really in your head right now for whatever reason about what makes you happy. How do you have that overall happy ending? It's like the problem with you, Libra, is like you're too busy thinking about it and not creating it or having actions towards it. That's what I get. What's the overall outcome for Libra? Okay. You guys have this could be the one. Oh, You've already met the romantic partner of your, let's see, you seek. Cool. All right. So... First things first, I do want to note here, it is interesting that you have the King of Pentacles here as your situation, but then it's like not a good situation for you at least. Sorry, I had to take a drink of like my coffee so I can wake my ass up. Granted, it's like one o'clock here, but YOLO. Um, okay, so when it comes to working through your fears, like we all know Scorpio is all about rebirth. So if you guys are currently in a situation or currently in a relationship, you know, this situation is kind of going through a transitional period, I feel like, and it's transforming. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes, uh, you know, birth, death, and rebirth, okay? And this is all about kind of what that Scorpio energy is about. Whatever you've been through right now, there's some type of new start with you and um, this person. So it's probably somebody from your past, honestly. Um, understand too that when it comes with transformation, Libra, it's not always pretty, right? It's not always sunshine, rainbows, and Disney characters running out the goddamn forest. Sometimes it's dark. And sometimes it's, you know, not as nice, I think, as we would like it. But just understand that there is a major transformation happening and there also is something magical behind it, okay? Also too, this is calls for like kind of like a sexier time. So if you've been experiencing like a level of drought or any type of emotional intimacy issues, all that's going to stop, okay? And remember, Scorpio is definitely the sign about, you know, deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when you see this, just know that there's nothing superficial coming your way or nothing that's only going to be here for a period of time, okay? Also, too, Libra, you have to let go of whatever grudges you're holding, move away from any type of jealousy, stop obsessing and being paranoid, okay? And it also is time for you to invest in a person or in a partner, Okay, now you guys have the King of Pentacles here for your situation. Why is this a situation for Libra? What's causing 
temperance, okay? Possibly a Sagittarius. Maybe for those cross watchers and even for Libra, there's an offer that needs to be made here. There's an offer, a solid offer that needs to be made that's being waited on. It's like what's causing this, it's, it's like patience. It's like trying to do the right thing, trying to figure out what the right thing to do is. When it comes to love and romance, um, Four of Wands is uh, Venus and Aries. It's very much about, you know, trying to figure out or having the patience to understand your foundation, what foundation you have with this person and making this offer. Okay. But it is something that you've wanted for a very long time, especially with this nine of cups. This is all about expansion when it comes to your love and your relationships. Okay. It's being patient, but then also knowing when to act, right? It's being hopeful, but then also giving, you know, a solid, um, a solid offer here. So how you guys would feel about it is you guys have the, uh, four of cups with the page of swords and that's clarified by death. So <clears throat> all this second guessing and overthinking, especially with that page of swords, that's very Gemini energy. Here's a Scorpio, which is kind of tying this back together. Um, and the Four of Cups is definitely, um, you know, moon in Cancer, a Cancer moon. You know, this is this is telling you guys, like, don't play the victim here. You know, don't overthink things. Don't, you know, say something the wrong way. But all that is now coming to an end, which is why you're being treated like a king. Or this king is making you that offer. And it's something that I feel like you've been waiting for for a long period of time. Um, Libra, and I feel like it's making you feel good. Two of Wands, it's a decision, okay? There also can be actual physical movement here with the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands. It's like setting something free, seeing if it comes back. But it's also, too, it's, it's, it's something that's happening fast, okay? So either you guys are physically moving or there's some type of communication with this person maybe through a text message or a DM or something like that that's coming in about exactly what this person wants from you, what they're gonna offer you, or it can actually be physical movement with you and this person, okay? But you do have the Nine of Cups here twice, so it's both something that you guys wanted and it's for better or for worse, but it's something that you guys have both hoped for and wished for, okay? Now, for your hopes and fears, you have the the nine of cups with the magician maybe you guys are dealing with a gemini a virgo or aries um you guys have manifested this you guys realize like you have all the tools that you need in order to make something happen here the problem is getting out of your head to do so right so if you guys were in a position where you wanted some type of stability and some type of you know uh success when it comes to family love and life it's like you guys are now having that and you guys are no longer overthinking it because you've manifested it yourself this also here's the queen of pentacles okay so you have the king and now you have the queen and that's also associated with the king of cup or the uh, six of cups so i do feel like you know um this could be, you know, physically moving in with your partner. This could be you and your partner having a baby together. You guys finding out some information. Um, this can be you guys, you know, going out to dinner, you guys doing something. But it, it, it's also about, it's a very loving, caring, and nurturing energy. It's not intense. It's not tough. It's just very straightforward, very loving, and it's communicating in a fashion where both you and your partner can relate. Okay, so thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.